Okay, a very simple lesson here. So we're going to look at different types of um, software licenses. Um, so we're going to look at um, freeware, shareware, and end user license agreements. So we're going to look at these things and look at the differences. And also we're going to look at open source software. So what is the difference between freeware, shareware, open source software and end license uh, end user license agreements so um, that's what we're going to look at today and it's very straightforward and hopefully um, it'll all be very clear to you by the end of this presentation so now a commercial license so a commercial license for a software package is this software means that it must be paid for as a package every month or every year so you would tend to have a subscription for this that you would pay for um, periodically now when purchasing this license for this software there's restrictions okay so just because you've paid for it doesn't mean to say that it's yours because when you subscribe to these packages um, basically you are agreeing to the terms of a license so it may be one computer um, distributing or selling is prohibited okay like I said just because you've bought it doesn't mean to say that you can go and do what you want with it um, organizations must hold a license for that organization not the individual okay so for example if we was to buy um, say a Photoshop on one computer in our school it'd be for that one computer and that one computer only and it will be licensed to the school okay not to um, an individual like uh, for example the technician now freeware licenses okay so um, this is software that is free and it hasn't cost you anything so looking at the images there so for example this one here you can see there's Twitter there's Skype there's Google Chrome okay so these are licenses that you can hold for the software. You can download the software, it costs you nothing. You can use it, it doesn't cost you anything. But there are restrictions in place, okay? So as I said, it's free of charge, um, but the software is copyrighted and there's no charge for you to use it or download it, but it's not yours. It's copyrighted to the company that owns it. So for example, Google Chrome, you can download and you can use, but it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to Google. Okay, so the owner is still the author of the software and they have the copyrights of the software and they have control of how it looks and how it works and you have no rights to change it and you have no rights to sell it. Okay, so the owner has the right to change it and the owner has the right to change the conditions of the software such if they decide one day they want to charge for it well then they can charge for it but obviously you don't have to pay for it you don't have to be a customer but obviously you no longer have the rights to use it okay but you are not entitled to modify the software in any way whatsoever now shareware okay so now, hopefully you're looking at the pictures here, so there's a difference between freeware and shareware, okay? So, um, now these sometimes tend to take place as trial versions, okay? So you may get a demo of the product, you may get be able to use it for seven days. So, for example, I downloaded, um, to make my um, logo reveal, I downloaded Adobe... Um, after effects for seven days and i made sure i made it within the seven days and um but after the seven days i had to pay for it so to use it i had to give my um credit card details and i could use it for free for seven days but after that that period they would charge you for it so obviously then you have to have an agreement that no i don't want to use it so it's given away for free um, it would be offered as a free trial for seven days and then payments may be deducted from your credit card and then basically it goes from being a shareware license to a commercial license that is then obtained so for example on a free trial you may not be able to use certain features okay so it allows the users basically to try before they buy and then hopefully they'll end up loving it so much that they will buy a license it's as simple as that 
So, but the users, again, you're not permitted to modify the software in any way because it is owned by somebody else, okay? Now, open source software. Now, there's lots of this about, so you may have used this, for example, like the VLC player, um, Linux, um, maybe you haven't used Linux at all, um, GIMP Photo Editor, which is an alternative to Photoshop. Okay, so now this open source software it allows anyone to copy it, distribute it, amend it, develop it, okay? And the software generally is developed and made collaboratively um, by volunteers, okay? So you can do what you want with this software because it's open source. So say, for example, a bunch of budding coders got together and decided to develop a software. And um, basically, they've allowed volunteers to develop it and bring the ideas together and you can do what you like with it. So it's open source, so you can copy it, you can change it, you can amend it, you can develop it, you can do whatever you want, it's open source. Now, promoting open source and freeware software, okay, so, um, so free, the Freeware Software Foundation, sorry, the Free Software Foundation, <laughs> and supports the right to copy, modify, and distribute software freely, okay? So it aims for the users to develop the software collaboratively, and then it will make it available for all users to adapt. Now, the GNU public license states that nobody can copyright um, the software, okay? So nobody can copyright the software, so that's what the GNU states. Right, so um, the open source initiative, so it promotes open source software and it encourages you to meet these licenses, distribute freely because the free in it stands for freedom, not free as in cost, freedom, okay, and the original so source code must be supplied um, alongside any developed work and the original license must apply to any derived work, okay. So, um, the software must be available for anyone to use and no one must be barred from using it, okay? Because it's free, it's open source, so their initiative aims to keep it that way so it's not commercialized in any way whatsoever. Okay, so um, please complete all the tasks in your book and attempt the exam questions. The best of luck.